Mary, who's going to be your weekly uh, March 13th, 14th through March 20th um, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Energies go both ways, so pick a side. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. We're going to do three for you, three for your partner, and three for the outcome. If you're looking for advice as it relates to some other area of your life, and then just take the energy and fit it to where it belongs, okay? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, given the fact that this is Friday the 13th, whether or not the outcome, you're going to have a lucky week or an unlucky week, depending upon how the energies play out, okay? So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of March 13th to March 20th. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Aries, you're coming out with, you could be dealing with a Leo or Aquarius. You don't have to be, of course, it's just the energies. All right, so you're coming up with the Nine of Wands. The Sun. And the star, two major arcana, your energy, of course, is fluid, go both ways. Your energy seems to be very vibrant and very hopeful. Um, with this Knight of Wands, you, you've been through some sort of, you're fighting for something very passionate, okay, very steadfast, very... Long and arduous. Um, there's something that you've been very motivated to attain, okay? Dreams. And holding, holding your, holding on, holding your, you might that right. Um, holding your stance, so to speak. Um, you fall for this, so you're not gonna let it go. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna hold on for dear life for whatever this is that you 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 fought for. With these two major arcana here too, um, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams—that's what you're, you've been fighting for, right? So you feel like you haven't quite gotten gotten it yet, um, but you're there. Some of you are very childlike, okay, too. You're very, um, your inner child is shining. Some of you are pregnant. Some of you, some of you are wanting to get pregnant. Some of you will get pregnant. Um, some of you, too, with your um, solar return, up and coming, are actually, uh, Achieving, about to achieve, and are embarking on achieving 
this year being the year for you. Not only is this your birth year, your solar return, and your birth rate, but this being a new decade, um, 2020, you are making this the year for you. So this relationship, however this relationship, fit, this relationship fits into your life, it's make or break it for you. Your partner, for whatever reason, has the two of swords at a crossroad, a decision he or she needs to make. The ten of wands is feeling they're coming to an end of the cycle. You with the nine of wands, too, I feel um, have been part of this cycle for them. Okay, so this could be the relationship overall. Um, the very burdensome, burden, 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 hello, gee, the burdensome, that word, cycle, okay, uh, with this major arcana here, the judgment, call to action, and awakening, there's something they're contemplating right now, with this two of swords. You don't care whatever contemplation they're contemplating, whatever cycle they're closing out, whatever second chance, whatever call to action they have to make with this judgment call here. This could be something personal within their lives that affects this relationship overall because the overall energy here is the Ten of Pentacles. Here you are, or very well could be. This is typically my Leo card, but it is a fire sign, okay, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords. So there's some, something here, um, the Ten of Pentacles is a completion too, but the union, the coming together of this relationship is the Ten of Pentacles, how we solidify and coming together as a union with the Pentacles being teamwork. For me, usually pentacles um, is the, the queen of wands is mass, you know, the mastery of passion, the mastery of intuition, getting things done, setting our intention. I, I love her. I love that cat. I love. I love how this. Look at how. Look at how that could, look at how that cat just totally you know how like a dog you know how like dogs like protect the home. Look at how the cat completely like stands watch over that queen of wands. I love it. So this symbolizes you in this overall. How you have the sun and the star too in your energy. So the six of wands here, I'm feeling, is are we moving forward with this ten of pentacles? I'm feeling your partner with his judgment and the two of swords is, is somewhere in this energy we're contemplating now. Is this going to be a lucky week for you? For you, yeah. Nothing's touching Aries with the sun and the star. Nothing touching you whatsoever. Overall, with this relationship, with this, with this ten, ten of Pentacles and and this, the six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters, taking the ten of Pentacles with you, and you having the star and the sun. There's something your partner here is contemplating with the second chance, with the call to action. Your partner has something. They have to shit or get off the pot with. That's been a burden. They're, they're closing out some cycle. I think you're going to help them do that. And I think it has something to do with the pair of you uniting and moving on. Okay? Aries, that's what I have for you. As it relates to your week, March 13th through the 20th. With that, we're going to slate love and blessings always. Peace. See you soon. Peace.